Okay guys, so first of all, let's start with a liquid foundation. I'm going to be using Lancome's Fresh Fair Foundation. So I'm going to use a foundation brush and apply all over. So the nose, the eyes. Okay, and the lips. And now we're done blending the liquid foundation. For the powder foundation, I'll be using Amazing Cosmetics Mineral Foundation. So using IQ's handcrafted kabuki brush, I'm just going to dip the brush and the powder foundation and just going to set the liquid foundation. For the eyebrows, I'll be using Maybelline's Give Me Gold's Brown Eyeshadow. Using an angle brush, I'm going to pick up the brown eyeshadow in my brush and I'm just going to fill in my brows. To achieve the perfect pinup girl look, you're going to need the perfect pointed out brows. So using an angle brush, just throw in some eyeshadows and really create that dark pointed brows like that. So now let's move on to the eye makeup. For the eye makeup, I'm going to use one of my favorite eyeshadow base first and this is from Lancome's Ombre Perfectoir and I'm just going to apply that wherever all the eyeshadow is going to go today. So that's just all over the eyes. So just apply it all over the eyes and blend with your fingertips. So I'm just blending the other eye like that. So after applying the eyeshadow base, this is going to be our main eyeshadow we'll be using today. It's a really pretty shimmery white eyeshadow from IQ. They haven't had this out yet, but this is one of my favorite um, eyeshadows, white eyeshadows in my collection. So um, I just want to tell you guys one more time that you guys don't have to use all the products I'm using. Um, just use anything that's close to it and I know the outcome will be pretty similar. So using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to apply the white eyeshadow just all over the eyes. So just apply it generously all over your eyes, your eyelids, everywhere. So to cut my crease, I'm going to use this really pretty brown eyeshadow from L'Oreal. So I've grabbed some brown eyeshadow in this brush and from the corners of my eyes, I'm just going to sweep it in the front. So this is kind of like cutting a crease. Since my eyes don't really have a big crease on it, I'm just going to have to create another big crease-like effect right there. So now I'll be using one of my favorite black liquid eyeliners from Hang Fong. Create the classic pinup girl winged eyeliner. So just wing it on the side this and do the same in the other eye so just follow the lash line from the middle of the eyes and just wing at the corners like that so after we're done winging the eyeliners let's add a beauty mark right under your right Eye. like that so for the lower lash line just bring the liner from the top and just line it till half of the lower lashes so just till here so now using a white eyeliner I'm just gonna line my waterline to make my eyes pop so just gonna line it like this now I'm going to use this fun lashes from B Slap Cosmetics. So after applying the glue, I'm just going to glue that right on the top lash line like this. Just going to let them dry for a couple seconds. Now for mascara, I'm going to use Hypnose Drama from Lancome. And I'm going to make the falsies blend with my real lashes. So just I'm just going to apply it like that, with gentle strokes upwards. 
So now let's apply on the lower lashes like that. So now I'm done applying on the lower lashes. Let's move on to the blush. For the blush, I chose this really pretty pink blush. So I'm going to apply the blush right on the apples of my cheeks. I'm not taking it to the temples, but just in the apples. Till it has that really pretty pink glow. Now time for the lips. For the lips, I'm going to use a really bright red lipstick. I'm going to use a tiny lip brush so I have the perfect application. So I'm just going to apply the bottom lips first. So if you guys have a red lip liner, just go ahead and apply it with the red lip liner. It also gives you the full lips and it's easier for application. To have that perfect pinup girl lips, I'm going to have to round my lips like this. So use a napkin or a paper to blot the excess. Okay guys, so we are done with this makeup look. Um, I hope it was easy to follow and you guys can do this for everyday looks or for Halloween. Um, next time I'm going to come with Queen of Hearts, a sexy Queen of Hearts makeup tutorial. So keep an eye out for that. And I just want to thank you guys for liking my video, subscribing and commenting. It means a lot to me. So take care and bye.